Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the Nissan Rogue because we do have some meaningful updates for this SUV. Before we get in this video, I'm gonna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Ken Garf Nissan here in Salt Lake City, Utah for giving me some time with this Rogue. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions, just ask for Paul. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a turbocharged 1.5 liter three cylinder that goes through a CVT automatic. Fuel economy is 28 around town and then 34 on the highway. And this is made possible by the fact that this now has auto stop start. Now power outputs are 201 horsepower and then 225 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, first off, I love this color. It's really dynamic depending on how the sunlight hits it, but pretty simple, the design. And then popping down below, we do have the split light design. And then you guys can see Nissan logo front center with the chrome smiley face. And then we've got more chrome trim here at the bottom. And putting it all together, let me know your thoughts on the front end of the Rogue. Coming on the side here, our tiring wheel setup is 235, 55, 19 in the front and over in the rear. And then you guys can see here with the wheels, you got the silver on the top with the metallic gray. It's a really cool combination. Pretty chunky fender flares here. And look at the cut there on the fender as well. And then you guys can see the mirror caps body painted, got some chrome trim there at the top and then also down below. And then here is your full side view with the Rogue. Those wheels absolutely pop. Now taking a look at the key fob, you guys can see we've got our unlock function or lock function remote start. We've got the opening for the hatch with the Nissan logo there at the top. And yeah, there you go. Now popping into the rear, you guys can see we've got quite a bit of cargo space here in the back. And of course we got the Rogue floor mats to complement everything. Underneath we got even more storage, which is cool. And also I just completely messed that <laughs> little shelf up. But anyways, there's the back. When you're all done with the rear, just press that button and that will lower the hatch right back down. And then this leads us into the taillights here with the Rogue, pretty cool design there. And then notice how it's like black right there on that. Anyways, got our platinum badge to signify the trim. And you can see parking sensors at the bottom. And putting it all together, let me know your thoughts on the looks of this Rogue. But again, I really like this color. Now, popping inside, you guys can see we've got a sunshade here from the factory, and then look at the padding and stitching down below, and then a love look at the door handle. And then taking a look at the seats, you guys can see perforated down the center, and then look at the stitching design. Now, legroom here in the back's pretty good. We also have a little storage pocket, got some vents here in the back, USBs as well, and then headroom back here, solid. Now, taking a look at the front door panel, we've got soft touch here at the top, and then Really nice stitching down below, you can see more padding here. All of our window controls here, we've got our mirror adjustments, memory seats, and then blind spot monitoring. And then taking a look at the front seat, you can see perforated down the center, and then look at the design in the center as well. All of our adjustments here on the side, and then you guys can see this for the hatch, and then your auto stop start if you wanna turn that off, and then that's your steering assist. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you guys can see really nice trim all around. We do have the paddle shifters there on the back for the CVT. You got stuff like adapter cruise control, controls for the center stack, light control stock, and then your regular windshield wiper stock. Now here's a look at the gauge cluster. You guys can see, uh, we can basically look at a bunch of different vehicle information here in the center. And then we can also see the different drive modes here. You got an off-road, snow, auto, eco, and then a sport mode that you can go between. Now we do have a rear view camera here with trajectory lines that turn the steering wheel. You got that bird's eye view as well. So solid 360 camera system. You can also press the camera button and that will pull up the camera system with the different viewpoints on top of that. As to the resting infotainment system, sorry about the glare on the screen, but it actually responds uh, really well. Overall, easy to use. You do have the shortcut um, buttons here at the bottom. So it's nice that you have tons of physical buttons. We've got more soft touch here on the top of the dash and then you guys can see down below and then look like the stitching goes Cross and I like this trim here as well. Dual zone climate, we also have heated seats, heated steering wheel, and then we have like our charging area is what we'll call it here. Shifter for that CVT, got some more cup holder action, parking brake with your auto hold, drive mode, select, and then you guys can see with the center console, tons of storage. I like the trim here on the top, nice padding and stitching goes across, looks really premium. And then up top we get our controls here for the full panoramic sunroof. So here's our window sticker for this Rogue Platinum. You guys can see almost everything is standard. Got your base MSRP there. Total MSRP, 41,150. And do, 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 do. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, do a blind spot monitoring. 
throughout the rest of the rear. And by the way, with the Rogue, you can get a uh, heads up display uh, for those of you that are wondering. Ooh, I like that 360 camera system. But first off, 98 degrees, man. I wish that fall would start already. <laughs> oh, I'm getting, sorry, I'm, I'm not trying to complain in my review, but I'm, I'm getting sick of the heat at this point. Um, but anyways, Sea Comfort is solid with the Rogue. I really do like these seats, they look fancy. I will, I will give the Rogue a little bit, like this is the Platinum package, right? I feel like it should have uh, cooled seats as standard. And I mean, the big thing is you have these nice perforated seats, so easily could add the cooled function to it. Um, yeah, smooth so far, so I think that's a big plus. Engine seems to have quite a bit of torque. Yeah, it feels like it's got like that kind of zippy, zippy feel to it. Pop into the sport mode here. Good. Hopefully we can see the auto stop start in action. It might not do it though because I've got the... I'll turn the AC down. I'll suffer for you guys so that we can do auto stop start. I don't know. I do not know what this person's doing. They like got in the... You see that? <laughs> Went in the middle of the road and then backed up and... Yeah, interesting. Okay, get acceleration here. Woo! I mean, for a three-cylinder, it moves. It, it feels good for this segment crossover. Okay, so we got to stop here. So let's see if I can get it to trigger the auto stop start. Yes, no, maybe so. No. Guess not. <laughs> I have it on, so it might just be too hot outside or something, right? Got to have fans running for the engine to keep it cool. So it's probably something like that. Anyways. Woo. <laughs> yeah, this thing moves. I like I like how this I like how this drives. Um, so yeah, to cap things off here with the Rogue, um, I, I think it looks good. I love the interior. I'm gonna turn this back up. And yeah, I understand why they've added the auto stops at right, just to help out with efficiency. But still, let me know your thoughts um, on this whole setup. You know, the three cylinder turbo CVT auto stop start, all of that. Um, and let me know what you guys think about this Platinum package. Do you like this package, or is there a different package on the Rogue you like a little bit more? And that's all. This definitely feels more comfy compared to the Wrangler, but the Wrangler's not bad. It seems like the sound insulation is better with this too. And this powertrain's really strong. Even Wrangler's 4 by e powertrain that technically has more power than this doesn't feel quite as good as this V6. There's no replacement for displacement in cylinders, right? That's yeah, really torquey. And you can see here. <laughs> I mean, it moves these 35s no problem. It's really quite fun, to be honest. 